Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Yo there, um, just got back and all that stuff, man, um, try to even get this, um, chapter going through and all that damn shit, but, um, shit, nonetheless, we are finna get into the chapter today, it is, it is One Piece, Chapter 1133. It is called Praise Me. Alright, now we see right now that um, volume 20, so we're 20 volumes into this whole ordeal, is that hold them attacks. Drop all your belongings on the child Yamato, Golden and Nagiri's pilgrimage. So I yeah, I want to say it's safe to say that basically this is um, I want to say that basically safely say like this is um, this is the person who's been running off and kidnapping people. I want to say it's safe to say that, but at the same time, it's like Oda can pull something else. Maybe Holden is like the first person of many people that basically you know went out to the sword. All right, next page alright it says uh, we start with a flashback it says 22 years ago Ohara Ohara tragedy Ohara tragedy still sends chills down my spine the evacuation ship that carried the innocent citizens suddenly blew up and was swallowed in flames those terrible screams I heard in that fire will never stop echoing in my ears. Was that also Nico Robbins doing? So she's e so she even sank marine ships. That's a demon disgusted as I mean disguised as a kid. Bro, how could you think a little kid can destroy a damn ship? Robin wasn't even on the damn ship. She was on the fucking island. How the hell do you think that? Don't, I mean, do not let the world know about this incident. It's so brutal that it may traumatize children if they were to hear about it. If you see her, do not engage. Just report it right away. Huh? The culprit who committed all those crimes on that island. I found her. She has the eyes of a murderer. Okay. It's an old ass woman. She has the brains of a scholar, but she has no human emotions. Nico Robin digging through the garbage can, Joe, eating with the dogs and stuff. Man, this is, like I said, Robin got a sad-ass backstory, Joe. We getting more sadness. Joe, this is going to be sad with anime, when it's animated. Uh, she's able to use strange abilities. Hurry and catch her. I can't sleep in peace. I wish she'd hurry up and die. Jesus fucking Christ. Marines put an end to this quick. She's the enemy of the world. Man, what the fuck, Joe? Then Robin ass dude, she at the edge of the cliff ready to end it all. Dude, you got whole cities trying to fucking... You got whole cities ready to just just coming after her, man. I'm like, fucking... It says live, Robin. Olivia, Nico Olivia, Joe. Rest in peace, Joe. Robin looked up, man, smiling. And he sees Saul Les says, listen carefully, Robin. Someday, without a doubt, you will meet friends. And then it goes back to what she's saying. But Saul, I'm scared. Everyone's scary. When things are painful, listen to me. And it shows Robin in the hood, reading a book amongst people. And laugh like this. And she says, it's gone. Oh, no, it says, it's gone. So I said, hey, are you dear CCC? Okay, yeah, it's laugh. And um, says, let's go. I heard she was stealing and, and 
kill people for their money. Fuck, man, dude. And then Robin ran again. Like, dude, this is more on Robin's back. So I hate it here, Joe. Hate it here. She'll use her childlike appearances and then kill you in your sleep. Damn, nigga. The narrative right now. Yikes. That's insane. And then she she ran laughing like Saul. Hurry up and die. Damn shitty brat. Just go die somewhere. And she keeps laughing. And yeah. Damn, man. Alright. Uh, present day. New World L Bath. Let's go. Um, Ed, a port on the tree. Is it the sea? Is it clouds? Arriving a port. This is West Village Port. It's ocean clouds. Welcome back, captains. We were worried because you were late. I feel like my head, my head's not working. Everything are extra, I mean, extraordinary. It's majestic. And it says, woo. So it says Baby Bonnie and um, Lilith. Um, here comes the others. All right, double page spread. Let's get it, Joe. Woo wee, it looks amazing. Bonnie is amazed. Uh, Robin is holding her. And it says, wow, that's. Anyway, what's that? And it says, that's Soviet mischief. Uh, it's a ship that moves using the bouncy buoyancy or whatever the fuck it's called, of the island clouds. That's amazing. Some kingdom this is. Luffy to pull it up in style, bitch. Um, the climate within Elbath Islands are, is perfect. Island clouds, ocean clouds, bubble rainbow, and hover. I mean, hover. All these te technologies can coexist together. Okay? Straw Hat, Uso Land, and you guys too. You made it to Elbath. You damn right. Robin, just as I thought, you changed your hair. And you seem to have gotten adjusted to Elbath. Yeah. Nami got adjusted to Elbath forcibly, not entirely. Um, it says, it's been a while, Hydruin. Man, I'm mad Luffy got his name right off back. I've heard of your breakthrough. You're a Yonko now. Now that's our boss. I'll introduce them to you properly later, but the four of us are the new giant warrior pirates. Your subordinates. Nice to meet you. Okay. Who the fuck does. Who the fuck does. Who's holding. Whatever. I, I now need to zoom in on that. Fucking. The other. I forgot his damn name. He's back there. Fucking beat the fuck up on a cross. Jesus. Nice to meet you. I told you. I didn't need any subordinates. It's okay. I'm doing it because I want to. Yep, just as Bartolomeo said. Another double page press. Let's get it. I like this. This may be a short chapter, though. Um, when Big Mom's defeat at Wano made the news. Okay. When Big Mom's uh, defeat at Wano made the news. Even though the people, <laughs> even though the people here don't know much about outside worlds, they all got excited. Big Mom. Lillian was a friend once, but she did something Elbab considers unforgivable and not um, Sanji Simpe. Boy, Hydruin, leave those stories until after the toast. Food and drinks first. We prepared a mountain of it. Our mountain size. Let's go in the tavern. Damn, there's number of giants and shit there. Woohoo, food, I'm hungry. I got too excited and I also need a recharge. Hey, Luffy. Hmm? 
southwest from the West Village. I'm fine going along though. No way. I really want to see. And um, yeah, so Luffy is saying no way. No. Who is that? Yeah, it is. Luffy saying no way. I really want to see. Uh, I really want to see. I'm curious. I want to look around. Same here. Saul Sensei. Saul Sensei wanted to show Robin Chan the library. So we're going to the school down there. Thank you for taking us there, Gert. It's fine because the place is a bit far. Listen, Robin, as captain, I have to give my greetings to the people who had taken care of my crew. What do you... What? You remember that? Is It's the right thing to do, you know? Damn right, Luffy! Is that so? I see. Then we can toast later. Bring Saul here, too. We'll have the elk prepared in the meantime. You can take you can take your time. They're yeah, right, Luffy. Talk your shit, King. So even warriors study hard I mean even warriors study hard, do they? I mean so even warriors study hard, do they? Okay, I read that right. Saul Sensei mainly teaches history lessons and discuss various books. That's the Warrior Spring and on its shore, it's the Owl Library, a spring that looks more like a beach. Okay. Uh, yes, it's a beach formed out of parts of a tree that was fossilized and worn down by weather. There's no EBB in flow, but because of the waterfalls, there are waves that were formed. It's basically a sea. Okay. All right. Let's go see him and take Saul back to the tavern. Hold it. This is Robin's reunion, and I think Luffy had his ass working. My heart is pounding. Oh shit. Hey, stop, puff, puff. Help! It's Saul Sensei. He fell and he can't get up. Okay. Oi, come on, we went all this way to see him. It's a reunion with her benefactor after 22, after 22 years and he fell down? I'm a doctor, I can examine him, so where is he? Get him healed properly, Chopper, it's all up to you. Damn right, they in this bitch. Over there, he suddenly fell down. And Robin is laughing, saying how stupid. Oi, calling the patient stupid is, it's all right, I'll go along. All of you just stay there. Yeah, and it says Robbie song. Robin, all, I got all nervous for nothing. And Robin steps over to the beach. She sees Saul. She looks at Saul. Saul, the, Saul does the same thing he did back then when he was on the beach. Would not rob. Yep, when he was robbing when he was little, when she was little. Two, dare C C C. Are you surprised? Not surprised, huh? Same exact words and everything, Joe. He sees Robin when she was little, but now she sees Robin when she's older. Robin, dare C C. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't know how should I present myself to meet you. You're the kind. You're not a kid anymore, aren't you? No. Well, that weird laugh of yours still haven't changed. Dear CCC, yeah, it's still the same silly old laugh. Here, let me see your face. You become beautiful. You remind me of Olivia. You look just like her. Saul, former Marine, Vice Admiral, and Robert's, Robert's benefactor. Robert says, Mother, we cannot give up on the future that we'll live in. I mean, that we live in. You will understand someday. Your kind eyes are just like hers. Did you hear Vegapunk's broadcast, Robin? 
since I was on the since I was on the side since I was since I was on the scene, I didn't hear that much much of it. But what he said was reported in the papers. I see. History is told by the winners. Okay, um, that was what the words left by O'Hara. It should be, it should be, it should have been buried in history and disappeared without ever reaching anyone. But the voices of O'Hara scholars was heard. Vegapunk is a scientist. He didn't try to lecture about good and evil. But he still risked his life to stay. O'Hara and Vegapunk made a huge step forward. I'm sure it will change the future. Yes. And you, too. Does it hurt? Dear CCC, I was surprised by my own uh, survivability. When I came to, I was somehow drowning in the sea. It seems that the fire from the island melted the ice and I fell into the sea. I only found out a little later that you have survived. They say horrible things about you. It really makes me angry. Okay, Robin looks down. Let's talk about the depressing... Let's not talk about the depressing things. Hey, Saul. I want you to praise me for being alive. Dear CCC, yes, of course. A child like you being chased all over the world. Well, goddamn, dude, Saul. You're going to smush Robin ass. You lived well, Robin. 22 years. You really lived well. And now you're here to see me. Okay, Robin. Come on, Robin. Don't hold it in, Robin. Why do I have to live, Mother, Professor Saul? I want to die. I want to die. All right, that's what I'm talking about, Robin. Let it out. Let it out, Robin. That's what I'm talking about, Robin. Let that shit out. I really want to see you again. I want to see you again, Saul. There's CCC. I think Saul says a part of the question. We see the prime Usopp, Chopper, Nami, Sanji, and Porky Frankie. We see Jimbo and Joe. And Luffy looking at him. Luffy is laughing. Luffy tip for the union. Color spread the next issue. Let's get it, bitch. All right. That's the chapter. We have a break. Woo, shit, that was good. That was fucking damn good. Really not that much to say about this chapter. Like I said, I vow to review every LBAP chapter that comes on, whether it's slow pacing, WTF, or even a bad chapter to mid chapter. This was good. We got this out the way. I like the pacing that is going because we're getting shit out the way. Because like I said, we are setting up the main players of Ailback. Right now, so far from what I'm seeing, the most beneficial motherfuckers are gonna be beneficial in this damn chapter, or in this arc, is gonna be Luffy, Usopp, and Rock. They probably be like one of the biggest powers. Zoro may get some shit. Everyone is like, I think those three, Luffy, Usopp, and Robin, I think they got the most to gain out of this damn arc. I really have that much to say. I'm gonna make this quick because um, I just got back and yeah, I'm moving. So that video is coming up. So yeah, um, I get this chapter a solid eight out of ten because it's solid. I give it an eight out. No, in fact, nine out of ten. I give it a nine out of ten because it's solid. Everything else, pretty straightforward. You got to know some other damn shit. We got to do. Ragnarok is coming. Mark my words, man. I'll catch y'all out another time. Man.